Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install plugins and extensions. Uh, a couple of people have been asking me how to go about doing this, and there are two ways. Uh, the first way is kind of the easier way now in the newer versions of SketchUp. You can uh, go up here to the window and go into the extension warehouse. And uh, this, the, the warehouse will have pretty much all the extensions you're looking for, um, you know, minus a few. Uh, I'll just search for Bezier, and we'll get Bezier Surface uh, extension. So this one here. And you can basically search for anything that you need and uh, click on it. Make sure you're signed in up here. And uh, then you can just hit install. Now most plugins will require you to do a, a restart. And uh, usually it'll have some sort of uh, indication on how to get the uh, plugin working in the description. This one doesn't. But uh, I guess this one doesn't actually need a restart because it's already here. Uh, if it's not there and it's not showing up, do a quick restart of uh, SketchUp and hopefully it'll load in. Uh, the other way to go about uh, installing plugins slash extensions is to use the web. It's sort of the old school way of doing it. Now I've got this site pulled up here. This is sketchucation.com and the plugin store. And uh, frankly, it's kind of hard to find plugins online these days, as most of them are on the extension warehouse. But you can still do it through here if you can't find the plugin that you're looking for. Uh, and a lot of paid for plugins uh, have their own websites as well, uh, which you can buy through them. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be I'll download Extrude Tools V2.7. So just hit the download button, and then that'll download here. And then we'll pop back into SketchUp. Now I have this downloading uh, to my desktop natively. So the plugin is there. And then what you want to pull up is your SketchUp file. Mine's in my program file, SketchUp, SketchUp 2015. And you likely won't have a plugins folder. You can make one yourself uh, just to keep your plugins organized, which is what I did. So I'll drag this over here. And uh, so now I know where it is. So now if you want to install your extensions, you can go up to Window again, Preferences, Make sure you're on your extensions tab and go to install extension down here. And then this already goes into my plugins folder. I'll hit extrude, hit OK, hit yes on that. And uh, it's saying now it's installed, so I'll hit OK on this. And uh, it's not showing up, so I'm going to do a quick restart of SketchUp and we'll see if it's working then. Okay, so I have SketchUp restarted. I'm going to go into tools and toolbars. And there we go, we have the extrusion tools enabled. So I'll just click the arrow on that. And uh, now the now this tool set's showing up. So uh, yeah, that, that's basically it. Those are the two ways of installing extensions. Hopefully that clears up any confusion and uh, you can get back to building your models. Thank you very much everybody for watching and happy sketching.